How's it going, boys? Ooh, ah, ooh, tiki, tiki. Ooh, ah, ooh, tiki, tiki. Ooh, ah, ooh, tiki, tiki. Ooh, tiki, tiki. That's a wrap. All right. How's uh, how you guys been since uh, what, two weeks ago? Almost two weeks ago, yeah. You know, uh, what you <laughs> posted the last one last week? Yeah, I took a portion of all the ding dong bitch stories. <laughs> I took out some stuff, as you could tell, so we don't give out anything too bad. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 really bad, holy shit! Uh, I had to take out a lot of hand. stuff. I had to take out a lot of things. There was a whole period where we kept saying someone's name over. I was like, how do we not catch this? <laughs> so I had to beep, 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 over and over. There was like five different times in the single really? ten minutes. I Dude, like cut someone's hilarious. name out. So, uh, <laughs> Tybee Island, that's where I went. Uh, I picked up some stuff. Obviously, you can see we have new decor. Is that no, the word? You gotta, gotta stick with I the mean, Rick and Morty. I mean, it's not wrong. I mean, it's Rick and decor. Morty. Decor, yeah. Rick and Morty. Rick. 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 Rick and Morty. Rick. I, uh, shout out, uh, Soldier Boy. I picked, <laughs> <laughs> I picked, uh, got me a new shirt. Got me a, a black fan. shirt. Got a black shirt as, as well. As you can see, we got the <laughs> sexy Squidward. Like last time, not last time. Dude, we, we should show them your, uh, the other one to uh, match the one I had before when yes. I went out of town and we bought something this else. One a, a bit ago. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, aye captain. captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, captain. I gotta hang, oh, I gotta, shut up. I gotta hang that one up too. Uh, I also bought you guys something. Oh. But I also picked up a flute. Oh. A little, oh, yeah. That's a, a nice little, flute. You're playing pretty well, too, guys. <laughs> a nice little flute. It's a Rick flute. <laughs> Man, that, that that flute will get you places. It is not a good place. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> so, uh, here, let me give you guys a close-up. It's a nice, nice little... Flute. Yeah, nice pickle little... Pickle Rick flute at that, guys. Flute. Right, let it's me take a vision pickle Rick flute. <laughs> it's a flute for my collection. <laughs> All right, so like I, I bought two different one versions, okay? Okay. Um, both of you guys pick a number between 1 and 2. I want 12. I'm so taking it's that. both 1 and 2, you know. <laughs> Which one? I, hey, Siri. Flip a coin. It's, it's tails. I'll take two. All right. All right, close your guys' eyes. Close your guys' eyes, all right? Oh, uh, man, hold up. Let me go cross-side like my Asian ancestor. <laughs> well, I'm close your eyes, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, lovely assistant. Thank you. No Thank you. people on the podcast. <laughs> I do. I do restrict. I, I, I do put it as not made for kids every time I upload. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna hand it to you. Okay. Hand his first. He All right. Do one. not open your eyes. Okay. Okay. All right. That's one. It's a condom. No. Okay. <laughs> Don't feel it. Don't feel it. You'll know what it is. Don't feel it. All right. Open your hands. This is two. All right. Yeah, open your like eyes. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> hey, that is. Fucking hard. What is that? Oh, yeah, I like mine. <laughs> That's hard. But it being illegal, the they sold a lot of this stuff. <laughs> well, it's it's legal in Florida. No, yeah, uh, it's it. no, they're no, in no. Georgia. It's it's still technically legal there too. Uh, med medicinally, I believe it's legal. Oh, this was a medicinal. Medicinal. <laughs> medicinal. Medical. No, no, no. But yeah, you medicinal. Can, you can buy. You can buy like bud and pre rolls and all that down mm -hmm. there. Yeah. yeah. It's completely legal. That's I've seen, I've seen, dude, yeah, Georgia, when I went to the ATL, nothing but that. You, I'll tell you that. I hope you, uh, would you guys like to show it off nice. to the camera? Yeah, dude, look at this. Go ahead. Go this ahead. is Go ahead. fresh, y'all. This is like straight. I know how to shop at gift shops. Uh, dude. Uh, Hold on, I'm about to show y'all. Made long. in China, too, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> look at this bedazzled shit. That's hard. I, like I got this. this. I got the, uh, it's the purple, the blue. I got clone, <laughs> and then got Jamaica. See, I, I told you Shout I can't. Bob Marley. I wouldn't forget about you guys. I had to get you guys something. Oh boy. But uh, I'm just gonna send a photo. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I'm going to use that for. <laughs> I have no clue. Mine is for my collection. <laughs> yeah, you know, it is too small to roll on, but at the same time, it's too big to just like lay something on it. I think it. I think it's an ashtray. <laughs> yeah, it's probably gonna be used more for an ashtray. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. You, so can, scrape all any, you can scrape any un, like uncooked remains. <laughs> uncooked dude, yeah, look, it even has like slots. Oh yeah, dude, that's where you like put your shit. In. I know. If I'm not finished, yeah, you, you just like <laughs> tote it right twice, there? and you're just like, I'm done. Fuck it. Wham. I'm done. Wham. And like, this is for the longer ones. 
this is for a short one. The Extendo, the this is the, the Jays. Mid, this is mid range, yeah. And the Mary Mary's Iguana. Yeah. That's all right. But uh <laughs> It was it was really fun. Uh we went and picked up Jason. Oh nice, nice. They don't Navy know who Jason is. Jason we well, won't blub his name out. Because he don't care. Fuck you, Jason. <laughs> no, <we got> you. <laughs> Jason <laughs> is a really good friend of ours. He's actually stationed somewhere in the Navy. So we will leave that part out. <laughs> yeah, we He's won't in the military. say necessarily where he is, but he is in the military. We support him. You know, salute. And uh, he's we've been really good friends for a very long time. And uh, he's a really, really great guy, honestly. So... Me and my girlfriend Lauren were decided to go and spend the day with him. So we drove to where he's stationed at to pick him up, and he was working. I think it was what sixteen hour shift. Jeez, uh, was I think it? It was eighteen, like before sixteen, eighteen. Yeah. That's All right, crazy. so six, yeah, sixteen hour to eighteen hour <laughs> shift, and he worked like what four or five days in a row. <laughs> yeah, so he was probably got like a few hours of sleep total. But he wanted to drive because that keeps him awake. <laughs> um, he decided Are you to, your car? yeah, he was driving uh, my car oh. to drive, and he said he has never gotten a single speeding ticket. Oh, he's the reason. In, and I said, I, I said, <laughs> in our li- in his life. Um, yes, Lauren <laughs> said, don't jinx it. And ten it. minutes later, there's a sheriff. There's a state officer parked on the side of the highway and I go Jason there's a cop and he slows down I don't think it was our fault though that we weren't we shouldn't have gotten clocked because we slowed down way before him like way before this officer was there yeah, right but they got they clock about a mile mile yeah, and a half they down. can clock pretty far so it doesn't matter it, yeah, maybe like two three miles though. but if you're within a mile and a half they'll probably clock you well we were well we were slowing down but at the same time when we pass the state trooper a car flies right past us and cuts in front of us and the state trooper pulls out and i'm like oh they're gonna get the guy in front of us get over our lane jason we get over they flipped our lights on and pull us over I say we were going in the way you bum. <laughs> <laughs> i just don't understand because this person drove faster past the cop than we did and we got pulled over which is stupid she was really nice about it though. I mean, it was maybe f- maybe an officer before y'all clocked y'all, and they were just too lazy to go after it, and they were like, "Hey, this car is going." This I, I was yeah, I was told that before because <laughs> Jason did speed. I mean, it was it was eighty six and a seventy, so it was like traffic <laughs> speed. Okay, yeah, okay that's yeah. not bad. If there were like multiple cars all going like 80 yeah, well, I mean, 90, we were we were traffic. still having people pass us and everything. Yeah, so I and don't know. He probably pulled you over just because, or she probably pulled you over. Apparently, they, they had out of state, state license plate. Out of state license plate. They probably get more. They get more. Apparently, <clears throat> I've heard that they're getting more money to pull people over. Well, the thing is, Jason. Is, well, no, Jason still technically lives here in Evansville. Really? So he still has an Evansville license. Yeah. So he has an Indiana's license. Damn. But uh. Yeah, we get pulled over, and she was really nice about it, but I thought we were fucked. There was a small part where I thought I was going to jail because she was like, I need your guys' insurance card. I was like, it's under my, this is my car. Oh, my yeah. insurance card. Mom told and me she looks that. at it, dumbfounded, like, this is expired. I was like, what? Huh? Wait, huh? Say it again. And she was like, yeah, this is expired. And uh, she said, well, with Indiana, most states can't recognize expired insurance cards. So, uh, cards, so I don't even know if I can like pull this up and find you. So you gotta get your other insurance. You gotta get a new one like pulled up real quick online. It's like okay. So I'm freaking out. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. I text text my parents and I'm like, hey guys, uh, I need my insurance card. Yeah, mom comes into my room. She's like, don't be like your brother. Here's your new insurance card. Make sure you put it in your car. I'm like, why? Go get pulled over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell him until we, I got back that it was actually Jason driving because I didn't know how much trouble I would be in if they would, like be pissed or not. But either way, it was a screwed up situation to be in. Yeah, but uh, it was never great. Yeah, I did he at uh, least have his license on him. Huh? Yeah, he had his license. Okay. We all had our IDs on us. But uh, she goes back to her car. And she comes back, and look, she was so nice that she decided to drop it. So there was no points added to his license. My insurance didn't go up. Not yet. And he just no, it won't. Oh, okay. okay. With the ticket she gave us. Was it just a warning? It wasn't a warning. It was still a speeding ticket, but she oh. dropped it down lower, to where it would just be a speeding ticket without insurance. Except if you run fifteen over, it's supposed to be something. Yeah, it's like, 
excessive driving or something like that. She, or it was, what was what reckless is driving. Re- reckless and she dropped it down to excessive speeding. Mm. And so she just gave us or something like that, and she gave us a. Uh, she gave us a. Uh, gave him a speeding ticket, and she like looked at me. She's like, make sure you have a like a new like insurance card, in your. Uh, make sure you have a new insurance card in your vehicle, because I could not. I could not find your. Uh, I couldn't find the year, make, model, or the, even the owner of this car. So technically, I was driving a stolen car in the state of Georgia because they couldn't <laughs> find any information on my card. All right, I'm done. Well, That's like, crazy. Yeah. I like how we're just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here telling the story. <laughs> the is, I've still been Nobody the gives a shit. <laughs> I'm over here. I didn't know like to look at the camera or look at you guys and talk because half the time I'm looking at you guys when I talk, and then you guys are over here. <laughs> I'm getting attacked. Alright, we're in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> we can leave this in for sure. Okay. I guess my turn? Huh? Yeah. Okay. You got something to share? Okay, so, <clears throat> like Cole said, we we're all on spring break. Homie came down from college, and um, she was actually on spring break the week before, so. El Bummer, El Bozo. El Bozo, yep. We talked um, about her in the past, didn't we? We said her name. Oh, yeah, okay, I guess. Oh. <laughs> she's literally in the, <laughs> she's in the, the first, she's in the very in. first thing. Okay, so our homie Madison came down from college, and it was kind of a bummer oh, because wow. we thought we were on the same spring break, and it turns out we were not. She was a whole week before, but that Friday before she had to leave because she was wanting to leave the uh, Saturday evening, so it was... Me, Maddie, our buddy Michael, and his friend Piper. Michael will not care about his name being said in this. I already know. <laughs> but anyways, me, Maddie, Michael, and his friend Piper all went up to Garden of the Gods for the day. So that was pretty fun. But then spring break comes around, and I'm not doing shit. Sat at home, grinded Elden Ring, went to work, grinded Elden Ring, went to work, grinded Elden Ring, went to work, grinded Elden Ring, went to work again, grinded Elden Ring. Then Friday... I played Fortnite Prop Hunt. I played Fortnite Prop Hunt with the homies. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I found some cheesy spots in there too. Saturday, I didn't do jack shit. I think I played the game for thirty minutes. Sunday, worked all day, and then bam, went to school today. Your turn. How was your, how was your spring break? Oh, dude, my spring break was so crazy from, like, Monday to Thursday. Nothing but double shifts. I had to clear – I had to cover his ass because he wanted to go spring breaking. So, you know, working them doubles. I mean, I did get that fat check, but, you know, I like my breaks. So, you know, my, my job was cur- uh, courteous enough to give me Thursday. Still had to come back Friday, but had Saturday, Sunday off. Um, I was supposed to have today off, but then it switched to, like, 11. Um and then it switched back to 10 or some shit. I don't know. But, um, you know, just nothing but work. It's going to happen like that when all you do is fucking work. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah. Uh, my life is boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Couldn't even do too much skating because um, our it weather. Cold. Yeah, our weather is, is bipolar as shit. Like, one day it was, like, a good 70. The next day. It's like 40-something and uh, strong-ass winds, so it feels Indiana. like fucking 30 degrees. Yeah, fuck Indiana weather. What, like, what, what's the temperature right now? Like, 45 right yeah, now? It's and cold. then yesterday it was like 30, but two days ago it was like 70. It's like 40. Tybee Island, it was 75 pretty much the whole trip. Better than here. Yeah, way better than here. <laughs> we had like one sunny, very nice day, and then it just fucking blew away. Feels like 45, the high is 50, the low is 27. No, yeah, it's yeah, 27 yeah. degrees outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the house that we stayed in was so fucking cool. I know, I seen it. There was Man, a was there was hard. a fucking elevator built into. It. I was like, what the hell? Unnecessary. <laughs> the elevator for three with, floors with the luggage. Okay. Lauren, l- my girlfriend Lauren, her luggage was so fucking heavy. That elevator came in fucking handy. She, Why is it? She she packed up to move. <laughs> Why do females pack like that? Is always my question. Like you, you see like guys, guys carry like backpacks. Oh, I could, like I could have went with six, seven clothes. 
or like sets of clothes. And they're they like, all right, I'm going to wear the same pair of shorts. <laughs> like two or three times a day. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. trip. And then like females, I need these shoes for this, these shoes for this. Oh, I got swim shoes. I got hiking shoes. I got uh, mud shoes. I got these shoes, these shoes, these shoes. Oh, this shirt is a crop top. This shirt I sleep in. This shirt, all this. No, nope, like, I sleep dude, in underwear. Holy, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit. Females yeah. are the most complicated. You're telling me an expensive ass that. fucking house with an elevator didn't have AC? It, it barely did. did. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, spent all their money on the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> we had to like, leave our door open as a fail on one night. Well, the thing was, before we got it, before we uh, we rented it out, uh, there was a frat house oh. that went to vacation there as well. Oh. And then apparently they really wrecked the place. You yeah. can tell in certain areas because there was fucking dirty ass like lampshades and. Our fucking a AC vent cover was missing. <laughs> <laughs> they, they took a trophy yeah. and cum stains on the couch. <laughs> yeah, dude, they took trophies and yeah. left trophies. Um, further reference, guys, all my homies say fuck frat houses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because fuck frats, dude. Yeah, they're pretty assholes. Think they're uppity. Fucking uppity, uppity. Oh, go we're suck fucking, fucking big. Dude, we're going to go chug fucking... Pink Whitney and steal our steal your shit. Yeah, we're gonna steal your fucking vents, bro. We're gonna steal your fucking vents. Yeah, we like to say like the the Alpha Sigma suck my dick. (laughs) Alpha Sigma suck my dick. That's great. Now there's a well, there was a restaurant in Georgia called the Crab Shack, and they have like an alligator pit where you can feed alligators. They have a, like a bird rescue center where you can go and look at the different parrots and stuff. They had one. He could actually like talk back and he danced with you like in the videos. He was like, say his own name. Go, Gil-. you'd be like, go Gilbert, go Gilbert. And the bird would like say it back. Go Gilbert. Yeah, go he would Gilbert. do it like that. And he'd like bop his head like this. I was like, no way. This is the coolest bird. You didn't get a video. Yeah. Huh? You didn't get a video? Yeah, I got a video. I posted it on my snap. It's, I saved it too. Oh, I didn't nice. see that. I am getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. Miss it, put. Miss it, put. Oh, he's pulling his cock out. <laughs> oh, no, he's pulling his cock out. <laughs> no, but, so, like Lauren was talking about, and uh, we went and checked out all the birds, and they're all rescue birds, right? And if you didn't know, these birds can fucking, they have a fucking good memory. Because I went in there, and apparently they were abused by... <laughs> No other, a frat house. Oh my god, fuck <laughs> it frat was. Houses, <laughs> it was. They were, these two birds were fuck abused dude. by a frat oh house. My god. No joke. Like, not even to go with any, like, 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 pun or anything. They were abused by a frat house. That's a good thing. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds like he's being. People like beat. a frat house kid, then, bitch. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this is what happened. So, I go in there and I'm checking out these birds, right? And I get to the cage where the abused ones from the frat house were, and this bird goes, like, mind his own business, and all of a sudden goes, wham, stares at me with one eye, and he slowly, like, creeps his way to the edge of the cage where I'm at, and he, like, lunges with his beak and, like, bites the cage down and starts screaming at me, like, oh, oh, and I'm like, dude, I didn't do it. That's when I go, that's when I met Gilbert. I'm chilling with Gilbert. This bird still somehow sees me on the other side of the, of the room, still screaming at my ass. I'm trying to dance with Gilbert. And this bird's like, get the fuck out. Dude, that bird did not fuck with Ginger. Yeah, it now we have not. a better reason to say fuck frat houses. Appa- yeah, appa- yeah, apparently I uh, I looked like a frat boy, so <laughs> they did not like my ass. look like a frat boy. They, had, they also had cats, but the food there was really good. Cat food? Carrot? No. <laughs> Yeah, we got to pet it, and it was it was funny too because Gilbert? they no Gilbert was in a cage, but they had one that was out. He would chill around. He how old? She how old was she? Uh, thirty two. Yeah, she was like thirty two years old. So this bird was like getting old, and like you could you could pet the bird like she would let you pet her and stuff. And then she's like, hey, check this out, right? No, let me just she like the right bird stands on her finger, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden she does this. She starts like flinging the bird and the bird's just like enjoying it and then she's like check this out she, he like the bird would stand back up and she'd be uh, she, the lady would go like all right drop and she'd go Foomp, and drop underneath again and then she start flinging her hand <laughs> like this i was like that bird's gonna go flying one way or another and his <laughs> wings are probably clipped dude no nah, it, it, it could oh it could fly but a lot of them are so like i guess injured and abused that they can't fly far 
But uh, maybe they don't want to. Maybe it's better there. Well, she if it was up, she said if it was up to her, she would this like the bird would do that all day, if it was up to the bird. That's the bird she was swinging around. Yeah. Holy, that's a big ass bird. Yeah. <laughs> it's an African just, parrot. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I like how it's all in every photo. I have a video of me with a parrot. They was they were pretty cool. I let the bird bit me, but I like forced it to bite me. She's like, yeah, it bites, but it don't hurt. I'm like, really? <laughs> ah, I was like, oh, it does. But it's more like it's more like a snap. Like she don't want to hurt you. It's just like she's, she's, she's like light. back up. Yeah. It's it like reminds me of a fucking TikTok video I seen. I was showing mom actually, and it was uh, this guy. Who, <laughs> but he was like really into insects, and there was like this centipede, millipede, fucking big ass apede thing, and it had chompers. So like, that's a centipede. Like this, and so his girlfriend's like trying to bring it out of the cage. He's like. No, honey, you can't touch it. It's very dangerous. It's super poisonous. And, like, grabs it. And it's, like, super fucking fast and shit. And he, like, grabs it. He's like, no, come here. And he puts it on his hand. He's like, yeah, these things are they're super poisonous. And it starts to bite him. I'm like, what is wrong with this fucking dude? I thought you just said it was poisonous. He goes, see, now that was a dry bite. It's telling me it can hurt you, but it's not going to hurt me. And it's, like, squeezing pretty hard. I'm like, god it's damn. Pitching, and this is the same dude. I'll have to find him on TikTok. This is the same guy. He has, like, multiple tarantulas. And he, like, they're sitting there in this little bowl thing, and he, like, sticks his finger in there, and he'll poke them, and he'll bring it back a little bit, and then, like, tarantula jumps and latches onto it. The tarantula made him bleed, and he starts fucking laughing after it lets go. He's like, ha, 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 ha. And his shit is just, like, kind of, like, slowly dripping. We're like, damn, bro. This dude scared the fucking tarantula just by the laugh. (laughs) Like, dude's great. I'll try to find him, but I don't know if I can. That was my story about biting <laughs> shit. Hey guys, we're taking a short break to say thank you to you guys this time, actually. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. For, yeah, for all the support, watching. There's not my, many of you guys, but we are the army's slowly. Growing. Yeah, we're slowly growing up, okay? Yeah, you know, every day I get a new friend who texts me, like, hey man, I watched the podcast. Funny as shit, dude. I'm like, you know, thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. Maybe drop a comment on your favorite moment, you know? You know? Always thinking. Yeah, yeah. Make sure. Gotta, gotta get us out there, you know? In the Post comments. Us, in shit. the comments, leave what you think we should talk about, and we may talk about it if it's not too controversial. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was. Yeah. Thank nothing, you, guys. No, nothing thank racist. You guys. Nothing <laughs> on that borderline. <laughs> we don't want to get canceled. Please, no. Well, there's nothing out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah nothing out of pocket. Super out of pocket. But you see how we keep our shit. It gets a little like offhand. There's a there's a small penis no. joke here and there. Yeah, not too out of <laughs> fucking pocket where we have like a group of people like that's not funny. Yeah, most of out of pocket should have done by me though. Talking about dick in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep those to me. I'm playing, guys. I'm but playing. thank you all for watching our vids, and we'll let you get right back to it. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, I'm back here for another small short break. What you're about to hear next is about the Chris Rock and Will Smith scenario when he got slapped in the face at the Oscars. Uh, Just coming to clear some things up. We didn't fully understand the joke, at least I didn't. Andrew seemed like he knew what he was talking about. Uh, Pretty much me and Hunter were more surprised and shocked at the slap in the face part more than anything. And... I didn't understand where G.I. Jane came from. I didn't know it was a movie. So if you, if it sounds like we're a little confused, we are. We're trying to go with the flow and continue the podcast without stopping so much. So next time we'll make sure we do a little bit more research into controversial slaps in the faces on live TV before we actually start talking about it. But I'll post a little photo of the movie title right here and it'll explain everything. You can see where the G.I. Jane joke comes from if you're like me and didn't understand it. Or if you're ahead of me and already looked it up if you didn't understand it. Or you already knew what it was. So, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll let you get back to the video. Thanks. So, uh, what do you guys think about the whole uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock? I thought that was funny. (laughs) Keep your name, keep my wife's name out your fucking fucking mouth. mouth. Bruh, hey, Will Smith. Will Smith had the balls to do that on live TV. Can we watch the video again? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that shit was hilarious. We'll play the full uncensored version too. Because there's a lot on TikTok 
Because I was going to show I've one on TikTok. I've on TikTok. Well, yeah, but they're, they take them all off. It. It's really good. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's that was, a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I just got three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. Oh, wow. Will Smith wow. just slapped the fuck out of me. The shit out of me. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. He took that like so well, too. He's very good. You don't know where to go. Okay. This is where he fucks up. He so got slapped pretty hard, dude. To uh, give a documentary out. To give an Oscar out for best documentary. <laughs> he got slapped now, so hard, he forgot what he said. Documentaries, because they, they make you, when you watch one, you feel smart. Okay, then it just like goes on to like, the, the like, whole yeah. documentary. <laughs> <It's> fucking hilarious. <laughs> See, the thing, the thing, do you guys think he was out of pocket? I kind of do think he is, like, um... I think it's a little out. All props to Will's wife, isn't it, Jane? What's, yeah. Yeah. All I props think, to Jane for like having the like I think the courage to go out, out there out without a wig or anything like yeah. that, like to be bald. But at the same time, comedians have been running what is that, the Grammys or some shit? Oscars. Oscars. It was Oscars. Yeah, they have been running the Oscars and like making it's their one time to make fun of everybody, like every celebrity, no well, matter what. Well, the problem movies. was what she had was a sickness. So yeah, yeah, Chris Rock was out of pocket with the joke. But just like how uh, who you know the guy who played Jada Jada, Jada Pickett Smith Pinkett Pickett why do you say Jane Blanket Smith G.I. Jane I don't know I don't really I guess G.I. Jane's a movie I'm pretty sure G.I. Joe no no G.I. Jane I'm oh he says sure Jade he says G.I. Jade isn't he no he says G.I. Jane oh, yeah, oh well J but anyways Jaden she she obviously everyone knows cause she recently came out that she was going through what's it called Alopecia. 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 Yeah, she was recently going through. She's been going through alopecia. It's what happens? You know what's funny? G.I. Jane popped up <laughs> as you looked it up. Oh, okay. So here's the reference. It's like some marine movie. Oh, where the bi oh, okay. Demi now I get more. Now I get it. <laughs> that's how out of that's how out of part like how out of like. Out of pocket. Oh, she out of pocket. That's a, how out of She doesn't have a thing bra on. Okay. Dude, why are you looking at that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's all right, like all uh, right. that one teacher from eighth grade, bro. So, back back to the subject. Okay, I get the joke now. I okay. didn't understand it. First, so, I that's for Jane. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, Jane. Okay. So, uh, I think both of them were out of pocket. Chris with the joke. But Will do you remember, you remember the guy who plays the parrot in Aladdin? Yeah, uh, I know who he is. I don't know. His can name. you look him up real quick? Name. But I do That's know who he is. Like, I know how he talks. I know how he is. Oh, uh, fucking, um. I, I know who it is. I don't know his name. He played the parrot. Uh, we just said that. Yeah, we just said that. <laughs> no, I know, but he played. Huh? Yeah. He, uh, Gilbert Gilbert, 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 yeah. Gilbert so he's, Free, he's, he's also a, a comedian, right? That's probably what they named the damn parrot at after him. Well, no, listen, listen, okay? Uh -huh. Listen. So he, he was a comedian, and back when 9 11 first happened. He was one of the first people to make a 9-11 joke, mm -hmm. and it was way too soon. Mm -hmm. Like he, That's how out of pocket I think Chris Rock is. He's just too soon. way too soon, and it's just not right, because she recently just, she recently has just came out with that, right? Like, it, she, like, posted, like, a week ago that yeah, she Yeah, like, like, uh, okay. if it was, if it happened, like, as she was getting better, it probably wouldn't be out of pocket. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. As have, it's happening, but I'm But with Will... Will, if you watch the video, you can see Will laughing at first, and then he's then he comes up and slaps her. Cause it was yeah, probably it was, one, it was one of those more like, you're not in the podcast. Let I'm us talk. This is our opinions. Man, it was like one of those like little grins, you know, where he's like, I'm about to fuck this man up or something. Shit. I don't know. And like, then he, he kinda, got he dead serious. See, what I think he should have done was he should have 
and I confronted him about it afterwards. Like, yeah, I, like, I didn't backstage, really like the backstage. joke. Because, that, because he literally apologizes. Like, there's a video of... Because, like, 40 minutes later, he gets a Oscar. And now the Oscars are talking about kicking him out of it, yeah. the program forever, and taking away his award. Just for smacking someone from an out-of-pocket like, out joke. I mean, it needs to be settled off-screen if it's going to happen. Like, you know, especially for a Fucking make him box or some shit. Chris Rock versus Will Smith. <laughs> yeah, yo, both could have gotten Marty. Fucking Marty from Madagascar versus Oscar from Shark Tales. <laughs> yeah, see, that's... They're both out of pocket, but at the same time, how the situation was completely handled was definitely... Uh, now, one thing I do gotta say, either Chris Rock has a fucking iron jaw, or that dude cannot punch for shit. Well, I don't nah, know about nah, that Will because Smith didn't punch him. He smacked. Slap, him. Uh, he slapped, him. slapped him. He full on like. And then you heard him. <laughs> he he, he, he could talk right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even then, I mean, like still. I'm here to give a documentary too. It, it, it was like a. Well, I mean, usually, like when you get smacked, do you like fucking? So my I'm question about how he stood because if I was a smacked, I'm like, like exactly this and like not. Well, because well, he backed up and fucking. So my question is, him. do you think they they would have like gotten into a fight? If Chris would have dodged, what if that was all planned? It was definitely not planned because no, that can no, ruin like, someone's career. No, like, what if it was? Definitely wasn't. I don't conspiracy. think it was. Conspiracy. <laughs> conspiracy. Conspiracy was all planned. Um, no, but, I don't know. I was thinking about that. I was like, what if, what if, if he would have dodged, dodged? Would he have gotten? And like, would they have kept like fighting? Nah, would dude. Like, I don't think Chris have... Rock can can body Will Smith like that. Like, well, Will, Will Smith tried. Well, Will like start attacking him. Oh. Would Will straight up start what you're fist saying? Like, would that that would have happened if Chris didn't take the hit? Dude, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I have a feeling like if you're going to go up and smack the shit out of someone because they disrespect your wife and they dodged it, you're obviously going to look like a bitch. So you got to go back in for a second punch. If this ever gets out to Will Smith or Chris Rock, please make a boxing match with you two in it. Five rounds, three minutes. I want to see it. That shit would be amazing. Yeah, but anyways, if it, <laughs> if it if it does get out to Will Smith and Chris Rock and they see this, you know, it was kind of it was really shocking to see some favorite childhood characters fight. It wasn't even a fight. It was just or uh, get bitch slapped and slapped. Bitch slapping Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Chris was being stunned that it happened, and he was like, "It was a joke," even though it was a way too soon joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A week yeah, yeah. after. <laughs> Like, was, I can see where still Will's coming from with the smack, and I but did it have to happen? No, no. I don't think it needed I to happen. I feel like it, that's an intermediate. Like you have, it's it's, a middle it's, stand co it's controversial. It. I think all we can agree on, it was funny as fuck. Oh, yeah, there's already yeah. memes. Yeah. I, Will's now, he, not, he showed his emotions once, twice, and he's, he became a meme twice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he became a meme not once, but twice. I Both over Jada. Do you think, do you think they're going to strip his award from him? They might. I mean, they can. They could. I know. It's yeah. under. They're talking about it right now. They're talking you think about Chris completely can press kicking him out. Huh? He could. He has assault. Yeah. yeah. He did Chris get assault. Could. He could. Yeah, he could press charge. Like but that's not Chris. Yeah, I feel like he would. Like like I want to smack back. Because he kind of like. He kind of felt bad, I feel like. Well, yeah, because he ma I, I could see that. He made a joke way too soon. <laughs> but yeah, the the whole Jaden Will. Not J Yeah, Jaden Will and Chris thing was definitely messed up. I don't. I don't think anyone should side with anyone because everyone. Except for Jaden, mainly Chris and Will. Yeah, Jada. Chris and Will, Jada. Yeah, Chris and Will were out of pocket. Yeah, because Will Smith did laugh. Like, I think it took him a moment. Yeah. I think he. I think when it cut it, when it cut back to Chris, his wife was just like scolding him. Like, you better go do something. You just gonna let him there make that actually, joke about me? There was actually a video that we had seen before this podcast, and it was like some TikTok of a dude sitting back in a chair like this, and he had like the. Pretty sure almost everyone watching this has Snapchat. You know the crying guys thing. It had that, and it had the noise. Him after the Oscars, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> but who knows, you know. We'll, we'll see what happens. If you don't say shit, you ain't getting it. What do you guys think will happen to Will? Do you think the Oscars will kick him, or do you think they're going to forgive him? I feel like they should forgive him, because yeah. it's like he was standing up for himself, but at the same time he was he, out of Not even life. himself, his fucking yeah, wife. Yeah, standing up for his wife, and then at the same time, should Chris be kicked out? Because he made an out of pocket joke. Uh, well, no, no, because out of pocket no, no. jokes are a thing. They, yeah, they, they yeah. literally yeah. roast each other the whole every year. They roast comedian every roast everybody. Yeah, the Dude, that's why they have celebrity everybody. roasts. Those things are fucking hilarious. So, yeah. yeah, I don't think I don't think Will should be kicked out. I think he should just be given a warning. Hey, don't don't do that again. Don't do this shit again, cuz. Yeah, they'll we probably need, give him a warning. We don't Both need of to them a warning. Resort to violence ever again. Yeah, they'll definitely talk to. They'll definitely have 
a little video that everyone has to watch before they go into the Oscars. Here's the new rules of the Oscars. If somebody make, says no out making of fun of diseases. No, <laughs> no, too no early. out of pocket jokes. No out of pocket jokes. If it happened five years ago, it is fine. If it happened just like a few days ago, shut the fuck up. If it up. happened in the expenditure, <laughs> rewrite hey, Did word. we ever talk about? We never did. We never talked about. Uh, what's his name? The he's in Kanye and who? Pete Davidson. Davidson. Oh. Did we ever talk about that? Yeah, we did. I, we did. I think last. We, we episode. talked about the text. It was like the second or first episode. We did. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. It was the second episode. Has anything else come up on that? Oh wait, yeah. Have uh, you guys seen Kanye's new music video? No. Oh, uh, where he's uh, like, I think he was like, he's. It's literally all about murdering Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson, like in the in the, yeah, it's, it's like, like a clay animation style, and like he's Kanye's clay, is like holding, the uh, uh Pete Davidson's head. Yeah. What the fuck? It's like the uh, the that one post that went viral about Trump's head. That one chick ha- holding Donald Trump's head. Uh, with it all bloody when he became president. Yeah. Oh. Okay. The game. Oh, the game is in there? Wow. We can't play it because it is probably copyrighted. Yeah. Probably. It is a Kanye the song. The game and Kanye. I, I can. I can. I'll put up a photo, though, of. Uh, uh, dude, made. speaking of much. the game, did y'all hear about the game challenging, or not like challenging Eminem, but saying. That he could beat Eminem in a rap battle. That is whack. That is not gonna happen. No one, no one can. I don't know, dude. That that no. is not a hot take. That's definitely an Eminem cent. thing. I mean, it, it it would take it would take Eminem like five years to come back with something. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would be, be <laughs> when he drops when he drops it, it's definitely gonna be. We'll something never like, know. It's like dude, oh, bro, ending career right there. Cent, Fifty Cent already said it in an interview that rap is is proclaimed like a black man's music, and which it is, and he goes. He also said, he states, he goes, and some people are mad that a white man does it better. I mean, Eminem is fucking good as shit. And the reason he why is better he's called than, the rap god, bro. Yeah, he's, he's better than some. I mean, he's better than a lot. Even 50 Cent so. said it. Dude, yeah, even 50 Cent. He's been making I'm not music. sure if he was talking about he was better than him, but he said he's, he does it better than a lot of other rappers yeah. do. He's been That's making true. music since our parents SoundCloud. were in their 20s. SoundCloud does not need to exist. There's I a few good songs. I don't know. Some of these 14-year-old SoundCloud rappers have been going hard. <laughs> have you seen them on TikTok? I'm like, I don't damn. Know. <laughs> Lil Xan. <laughs> One. Two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet. We'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned. Every Monday, uh, we do the same shit. It probably... Every Monday. Fuck you! Yeah, yeah, what he said. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed. (laughs) Peace out. Later. Yeah!